What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris back with you with another cool little video. Hey guys, this one here is pretty, it's going to be pretty quick, not a long one here, um, but definitely want your take on it. I always get your take anyway, and you guys get the last comment, but this one here is a little bit more, um, I want you to be a little bit more interactive with it and tell me what you guys think. To me, it's either two things. It's either something uh, intelligently made or it's something organic. So you guys can be the judge of this. Um, let me show you what I've got here. Uh, it is actually Sol 1294, and uh, you can see it here. Now, this is from Midnight Planets, which is basically the same thing as uh, NASA when you go look at it. It's their raw photos or their quote-unquote raw photos. Um, but you guys are going to have a look at this, and the thing that's in question is this here laying right here on the ground. Okay, and we're going to have a look at that here. And what it, uh, I've also looked at another one from Nev, which he gets props for this uh, Gigapan. Um, again, let's have a close look at this just for a second. And you guys can tell me what you think this is. I'm going to go ahead and make it full screen. And there we go. Okay. Check that out. Again, this thing to me reminded me, at least for me, reminded me of a like a hydraulic, a hydraulic brake line or something of that nature. It looks like something intelligently made. It doesn't look like uh, organics. However, it's a good possibility. And again, this is pure speculation because we don't know what it is. And I couldn't show you what it is to begin with. But... Um, what I what I thought was pretty cool is the way this thing it almost looks like it has a flange to it and has this, it looks like it kind of goes off, it gets a little larger, then it has a bigger piece right here, and then the line itself. So um, pretty interesting stuff here. And on the left-hand side of it, it has this other small circle. But what I want to show you guys, too, is when you back up a little bit, you can see from this point, and you can look at my cursor here going like this, you can see where it's like grayed out. And what they did was they tried to block this whole area out. And if you notice, it just there's a little bit what looks goldish yellow kind of thing underneath it. Now, what is NASA good for? Smoothing things out, making things look 2D and not a 3D. So this is a perfect area. Now, this is where it becomes important because is it something that there's line or there's uh, something organic? It could be a, a root from a tree, a bush, um, whatever it may be. And it's going into this ground or is it going into something else? Okay. Let me jump out of that. Now, I'm going to go to um, Photoshop here. And it doesn't really matter. This is what I had come up with. This is what I thought was pretty interesting. And you guys can have a look. I'll get closer for you guys. Anybody who's got the, uh, um, just with the tablets and the small phones, you can see what I'm talking about here. It has this flange piece right here. And it also has what looks like a flange here. And it kind of goes off and then it gets larger. Like this has a small screw in fitting, which whether it's going into a, a, a master cylinder or if it's going into the uh, brake caliper, um, this will screw into it. And the more you tighten this said fitting, it'll actually flatten this flange out a little bit more to seal so that you don't have a leak, uh, you know, for any kind of brake fluid coming out. But um, you guys can tell me what you think that is. I mean, see it right there? Okay. Now, I'm just going to go over it real quick because this is what I found. Again, this whole area appears to be manipulated. And <laughs> we're surprised, surprised. Uh, and NASA would never do something like that, would they? Um, the more it seems like, I've noticed that in my research, the more, if you go over an area that's been manipulated, what will happen is you'll see it becomes like other colors come out of this. Instead of being, and I'm going to call it discolored to a certain degree because it's not the same color as presented in the original, their original photo. It becomes discolored and, and ends up with multiple other colors. And I'm going to show you that right now. The more you start getting into this thing, okay, brighten up a little bit, get rid of some of the shadows. And the more I went over this, like here, was going with the burn tool. You can use the burn tool on any area you believe has been manipulated, obfuscated, whatever. And you're going to notice it started to get all these other funky colors. Why? Because it's more densely manipulated. And this is the reason why you get these. You'll see these pieces. Well, it looks like these pieces that something else is actually there. It indicates, not always the case, again, speculation, that there's something else buried under this said whatever this is. So let me do this. See, I dock it up a little bit to try to get it and just try to see what this may be and just kind of dull the line out a little bit so it wouldn't be too bright so we can get some better detail. But check that out, guys. What do you think? I mean, is it something organic? Is it is it is a some kind of root or some sort? Um, but you can see that coming out right here. And again, it has this what looks like this flange and looks like a larger piece, and then it goes off and into the whatever this is. And again, you get this small feature. And let me just back out a little bit and see how it looks more dense. Like it has more of a... This substance under this manipulation. So I believe, and this is just my 
you know, uh, personal opinion, is that I believe this is actually going into some mechanical stuff. Now, is it? Don't know. You guys can always give me your take on it and tell me what you think, because I'm looking at this here, and it looks a lot like the end of this here. Now, again, could be wrong, just pure speculation. We don't know. But to me, that doesn't look... That doesn't look like a rock in any way, shape, or form. We know that for a fact. So looking at that and seeing this other smaller hole next to it, and you got this piece here, and the way it looks like it's flanged, like I said, and then it has this piece and then it gets larger, is it possible it's something like that? You can call it grasping at straws because in a sense I am because we don't know what it is, but it just, boom, right off the top of my head, maybe my pareidolia playing games. But to me, again, it, it is pure, it's clearly not a rock. I mean, it's just not a rock. That's all there is to it. And if it's a root, again, we go by what NASA says, and, you know, if it's some kind of organic life, there hasn't been any kind of life on Mars, according to them, for millions of years. So if that's true, and let's just say it's a, hypothetically, it's just a root of some, going to some tree or bush or whatever it is, wouldn't it be like totally eroded by now, totally disintegrated by now from, and especially being on the surface of the ground? Or, as we all know, we believe there is still life there. We believe there's a water cycle. We believe there's growth there. They're seeing methane, large plumes of methane coming out of the ground peri periodically. And it seems to be seasonable, which means what to you? It, well, to me, it means, you know, there's plant growth. And if there's plant growth, there's probably some insects or something eating the plants. You know, somehow, some way, you're going to get some kind of methane. And they seem to get these huge plumes. It's not just like a little puff of it, and that's it. It's, they seem like two or three huge plumes of this coming from the, I believe it was the Maven uh, spacecraft that registered this um, uh, in, in a certain area. So, yeah, I mean, anything's possible, um, you know, but to me, that looks more intelligently made. You guys can give me your take on this because I'd be curious. Again, this is the original. I'll let you see that. I think, well, when I say original, I mean, it's, it's basically original, untouched, other than maybe slight color taken off of it, but I think it was the original one. But, um, Again, just with the what I believe it looks like, at least at the end of it, it looks something similarities to it. Um, you guys can tell me. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to make this super long. Like I said, this is just a cool little feature I saw on here. I thought it was pretty cool. And the other thing is, too, is I don't know if you guys noticed this. I've seen this here. It looked like another one at first, this one here. But when you go back and you look into that, it looks or appears to be maybe just the edge of the rock. Um, well, let's just back out of this here. Um, let's go back up. And it'll be, well, it won't be in this picture here because I, I've already m moved it. But, well, this is the cutout I had done on it. Um, let's do this. Check this out. Okay, edge of rock. I can go with that. But what is this? What does that here? Check the way this thing goes out like this here. Has what looks like two 90-degree angles. It comes down, 90, has this 90-degree angle, goes over to here, and another 90-degree angle right here. So it's got this kind of like stretched out Z kind of formation and what looks like another circle. Now... Is that a rock? Hmm, not so sure, guys. And how about this here? These are these are nice looking rocks here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Check this out. That's a nice rock with a nice 90 degree angle, nice and crisp corner to it. So on and so forth. Check that out, guys. Is it possible it's something it's not a natural rock, it's something more to it. Now I'm not saying nothing in nature could do this, guys. Don't get me wrong. But it's just kinda odd when you see a perfect 90 degree angle on a corner or something smoothed out or something that to that effect. It just yeah. And a lot of times, like I said, guys, you got to keep an eye on a lot of these things. Like you can look at this object right here, what looks like a nice flat rock, you know, rectangular flat rock, almost flat. And when you look at it, you go, okay, but look at it carefully. You might see a piece like I'm just gonna use a hypothetical. Let's say there was something sticking out of the edge right here. It might actually be smooth. In other words, it is something that was laying there. Let's call it a giant knife, you know, like a hunter's knife type thing. And, you know, what they did was they just didn't do the corner, and they didn't take it all completely out, and they just forgot to cover that piece up. And then what you've got is this rock, or it's this piece, this object anomaly, whatever it is, made to look like a rock. And this is not, this is very common with NASA. So they do this a lot. So you guys can tell me, again, what you think it may be. Um... All right, guys, again, I'm not going to make it too long. I just wanted to show you that. I thought that was pretty interesting. You guys will get the links, obviously. You'll get the uh, Midnight uh, Planets link as well as uh, Nev's uh, Gigapan link. And, um, again, throw a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think it is. Is it something, maybe it's something totally different I'm not even thinking about. Is it something that's intelligently made? Or is it organics? You be the judge. I already told you what I think it is. Um, you know, again, throw me a thumbs up on the always appreciate it. And I got some cool ones coming up. I'm going to try to do somebody uh, mentioned something about doing the latest Saris uh, uh, photos. And I have done one and talk about major cover up. 
Um, I've got uh, other things coming up pretty interesting. I think there's another moon one coming up here because I've got a few on deck here to do and I haven't knocked them out and I'm, I'm trying to catch up now being after the big move. Uh, yeah, I got a lot behind there and I apologize for that, guys. You know that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I will see you next pick.